anyone ever tell you that you have the best accent? Well, uh, no. I mean, some have. Men. Foolish praise in any case. It's just an ordinary Valian accent. Come on, say it one more time. Please? Ah. Uh, Shodari. Dondari. Vecente Kumane Nishomene. Now that was a very interesting start for this episode. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity, the White March. In the last episode we didn't really accomplish that much. The only thing that we managed to accomplish was to explore a little over half of this uh, Russellwood region here. We had uh, quite a few fights here and there against white wolves, feral druids, those ice, frost, blights or, or whatever they were called that casted blizzards on us and they hurt like hell. We also, we also ran into this a, a group of Pale Elven slavers with an ogre who attacked us for whatever reason. But then we killed them because they attacked us, obviously. And then there is this one particular, particularly tough uh, mob of monsters here with, uh, with ice trolls and those... Whatever those lizard-like thingies with four arms using blowguns were called. But, but whatever the case, we fought them two, three times in the last episode and we always failed. So they are very tough, and I think that the main reason for that is that because our team composition is not that good. We have basically no ranged damage dealers, so I miss a lot right now. And we also run into this uh, slave trucker who... Actually, let me just show it on the... Uh, on uh, In the journal. Let me just show the quest uh, on from the journal here. That's so much easier. So let's see, what was it again? It's not this one. Not this one. Maybe it's the tasks here. Not here. Uh, where was it? It's not this one either. Maybe it's... it must be here then. No, this is Mahena's personal quest. Oh yeah, this one. Hyferik, the innkeeper at the Greff's Gref, rest, thinks thinks there's something suspicious about one of his guests. According to him, the, uh, this old, the old land staying in one of the rooms has been behaving strangely, and Hyferik would like someone to get to get to the bottom of things. And uh, this old land named Aelif is is, actu is actually a is actually a, a runaway Red Seran uh, slaver. And the Fala was the slave tracker whom we met, uh, met here. The Fala provided a few details that Aelif neglected, uh, to, neglected to mention. Specifically that he, 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 that he signed himself into uh, intertuned servitude and that he killed his master's young son during his escape. Uh, she's asked me to lure him back to under the rose. She promised me a share of his bounty. And yeah, that's exactly what we are plan planning to do. We are, we are gonna trick a Aelif to come here so that she can capture him because fuck him, he killed what? what was was it 13 year, 13 year old boy? And he didn't even mention that to us, so yeah. And I don't like to be lied like that. Well, he didn't exactly lie, he just didn't tell us, but yeah, I don't like that regardless. So we are gonna trick him to come here. And then the other quest. What was it? Hmm. I think it was this one. Okrun has lost everything during the attacks against Stalwart. Before leaving the village behind, the dwarf wants to recover a medallion he gave to Lafta, priestess of, priestess of the Temple of Ondra, to be cast away in secret, a decision he now regrets. And these followers of Ondra are also these gift bearers who basically take the belong, who, who basically accept the belongings of, 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 uh, of some of the people who, who wants to get rid of them and the, and the memories they hold. And so they take those items and hide them away somewhere where they can be forgotten. That's that was the idea. However, when we came he when we came uh, here, one of the gift gift bearers what uh, what one of, one of the gift gift bearers had a chest, uh, presumably filled with filled with items like that, and and, and he and he dropped them do down to the bottom of this pond. And I sent I, and I sent Zahua to to go and fetch it. And there, and there were many other chests as well. So I thought that, hey, there's gonna be fuck tons of loot here, but no, they're, they're just rocks. So, I recovered several empty chests that bear Ondra's symbol. The medallion I seek wasn't inside any of them. They were filled only with rocks. It looks like Lafta, the priestess of Ondra, has much to answer for. Yeah, I'm quite sure that they are not really followers of Ondra or gift or real gift bearers or anything. They are basically just thieves. I'm on it. Uh, disguising themselves themselves as uh, as Ondra's followers and gift bearers. That's what that's what I think is going on. 
But hey, we are gonna find out because I was thinking of going back to Star Wars now and do and, and do these two quests real quickly. So to Star Wars Village we go. Some rest would renew our souls. Nah, don't be like you that. You know, Durin, hmm? just because you follow the Goddess of Fire doesn't mean you need to literally consume everything you come across. The fire is a favor I grant to those I meet. It makes them stronger, or it ends them mercifully if not. The remaining unemptied beer steins of the Deerwood quake in fear. <laughs> so anyway, and, and another thing what I really hope we, we can do here is to, uh, is to reassemble my party here and possibly get uh, a lot back at the back at the very least because if we can't it would be a huge pain in the ass to go back to Kai to go to go back all the way back to Kai Nua. To, uh, to to reassemble my team and rehire Eder, Elo, Sagani and H H Hiravias, whoever I want to uh, take with me. All right, this is the temple, right? Yeah, Temple of Ondra. So let's start from here. All right, Lavda, you have you got lots of things to explain here. Where's my loot? You return. How may the goddess help you? I found your chests. They were filled only with rocks. I see. No use in keeping this charade any longer, is there? Her group springs into action. The sounds of unsheathing blades fill the room. Yeah, yeah, I figured figured that this would happen. You have lost an item, empty gift barrel chest. Ah. Oh. But we shouldn't act so rashly. She hold, holds a hand up. The thieves keep their weapons pointed at you. We have been pretending, yes, but it is but it is so different from what Ondra's but is it really so different from what Ondra's priests do? Villagers and travelers give us things they want to forget. We make them disappear. Isn't that the same thing? Well, technically, yeah, but you are still stealing. You are still tricking people. We aren't murderers, and, and we would prefer prefer to, to be as far away from this cursed place as we can. Laugh the gestures at her uh, accomplices. Why make a bloody mess out of this? I'm willing to help you look the other way. I'm willing to help you look the other way. <laughs> Uh, she fixes her eyes on you. What do you propose? I don't want any anything from you, but I but I won't throw. You. I don't want anything from you, but I won't throw you to those villagers either. Oh, no, not a chance! I let the villagers decide what to do with you. Mm, yeah. Lafta stiffens her face hard as she as she raises her arm. Uh, the folds of her robes fall back to reveal a cocked pistol pointing at you. All right, so there's six of them. I think we can take the, these guys down. They are, I mean, they are, they are simple thieves. How hard can they possibly be? And I think we are gonna rest after this anyway, since the inn is inn is just in nearby. So might as well use these abilities. And I guess actually, let me save on this. Save this. Oh, maybe. I'm, I'm gonna put some more defenses on Zahua because he ha he's a bit injured as you can see with this little grey bar oh, 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 at the top. As for you, maybe I should focus on this one and Winky you should go... Oh wait, he's not a wizard or anything. This one is a wizard. I would want to focus this one down with Winky. And as for Zahua... Uh, attack this one. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, Durant's got hurt immediately. That's not good at all. Uh, teleport to this here. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, heal Durant's, and you attack this uh, wizard here. And I guess we have to give defenses to Durant's as well. And as for you, where are you? Oh, you're there. Attack this one. And... Let's use this one as well, why the hell not? Wink is doing good job, nuking this guy down. That looks like it hurt. Good job, and then attack this... Gexetl. Oh crap, there's this fire... the firewall. Jesus Christ, uh, the runs move. 
Oh, you can't because these three are blocking him. What assholes. Uh, where are we? We are... There, in the, in the fire. Of course we are. Uh, go here. <laughs> Focus on Lafda. Use AOE heal and where are you? You are in the fire as well. Move away. And runs. That should be a bit better. And if I'm not, not mistaken, this fire should hurt the this fire should hurt the enemies as well. Use this and Halagina. Try to help out Durance here. And as as for us, I think I'm gonna heal Durance. And that gunsman is down. Good. I think you should go and help help out Durance there. And in the meanwhile, I and Winky take care of Lafta here. Easy peasy. What did this do again? This ability exploits the shared bonds of universal suffering between all beings. The initial target is hit with a powerful blow that does additional crush damage. Enemies in a cone behind the target suffer crush damage and have their might reduced. Interesting. And one more, I think. Yeah, we need to rest after this. There we go. Just say the word. Some rest would renew our souls. Don't worry, you'll uh, you'll get to rest after this. Now, did they drop anything nice? Thick-handled iron key. Uh huh. Mm, this might this might this might uh, hold new spells. Ah, oh, yes, it does. But we don't have Aelot in our team, so we can't uh, we we can't make him learn this those spells just yet. All right, we got some nice stuff. At least at least nice stuff to sell, if nothing else. Now, what do we have here? Oh, white crest armor. That looks fucking cool. An Ocrus heirloom. All right, so that's the medallion he was he was after. Well, might as well give it back to him, unless of course it unless of course it's. Uh, it's very good. Or is it just a quest item? We can equip it ourselves. Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. But anyway, let's check out this. Where is the... There it is. It's, so it's heavy armor. 16 damage reduction. Recovery minus 50%. Exceptional plus dam 4 damage reduction. So it's 20 damage reduction in, in o overall. Over, over, overwhelming wave once per rest. So it looks like a tidal wave. 30 to 40 crush damage. Stunned for 8 seconds. That's quite fucking good. Accuracy plus 10 versus fortitude. Alright, that's just quite fucking good actually. Dancing bolts once per rest. Uh, 15 to 25 shock damage. Accuracy plus 10. Alright, that's a dru these are druid spells if I'm not mistaken. While its, origin while its original bearer's name has been lost to the ages, the famed white crest armor features in many tales of a dwarven adherent of Ondra, whose blows struck his enemies with all the overbearing power of the sea. The armor's weight was was such that the warrior is described as moving as if though, as if through wa shallow water. But foes believing themselves to have the advantage of speed often found their often found they could not overrun the warrior's lightning spells. Oh, so this gives minus one movement speed. Okay, should I give it to myself? What did this do? Ah, it's nothing. It gives uh, twenty damage reduc twenty damage reduction. Twenty slash pierce and eight shock. Yeah, the ex exact same stats when those are concerned. Recovery minus fifty percent, and this is also minus fifty percent. All right, let's see what it looks like at the very least. Uh, it looks all right. It looks all right. I think I prefer the look of this still, but uh, let's let's take that. Why the hell not? It it is slightly better, even though our movement speed is a little 
uh, slow, even though we are now a bit slower in combat, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, uh, and yeah, I don't think it's going to matter that much. But we'll see. And you still have this. Now this is this is still very good. I don't want to get rid of that. Plus it looks very cool. But and you have your own armor as well. I don't think that giving you this armor would be that much of a good idea. Plus you look kind of dumb with that. Yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this and maybe give it to someone else. We'll see. That was everything though. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. The game considers uh, this a stealing still, even though there's nobody inside. Alright, that should be everything. Now, let's go back to Gref's Rest. Alright, and yeah, the dwarf is here. We can give, it, give, uh, give this to him straight away. I'm hoping you have got good news. I know where the gift bearer casts your heirlooms away. Hmm. What else did you give to the priests? Hmm, I guess we could ask him about the medallion a bit more. It belonged to my sister. It was just a pretty trinket to her. To me, the dwarf cast his gaze down. She was the last of my family. Least that, least, least that still acted like family to me. What else did you give to the priests? The dwarf casts a measuring look at you. He quickly turns his head away and nods. You would understand its value. My armor. A set, a set finer than I have ever seen. Oh, the one I'm wearing right now? But worthless to an old dwarf. I, I would have, I would have traveled it. I, I would have traded it for the medallion. But fool that I was to give them both. Well, I have it. I'm having it now. I think. I know where the gift bearers cast your heir, heirlooms away. Did you find them? What of the medallion? The chests of offerings to own trouble are empty. Yeah, let's 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 tell him this. Or should, I be, or should we just give the medallion to him? Uh, let's just give, let's just give it to him right now, just in case. In case I cannot give it to him anymore for some reason after uh, picking this option, I have your medallion. I l let's see it. The dwarf uh, the dwarf draws a wide smile under his bristly beard. Here it is. Okrun takes the medallion gingerly in his palms, taking care not to smudge it with his dirty fingertips. You have lost an item, yeah? Yes, it's it's her medallion. He smiles and manages to pull his attention back to you. You have done good here. Good, you have done good, good here today. I swear, if I had, if I had a kingdom's treasure to give you in return, I also found your armor. Whatever you can spare, I'll accept. It seems worth a lot of copper. Show me how much it makes it for you. Well, I also found your armor. I don't need it. Don't know, don't know what I would do with it. He not keep it. More luck to you. Oh, we got some copper in uh, anyway. Nice. He turns around and walks away, looking not looking not at the pad ahead, but at the priestess heirloom clenched in his hands. Even so, the stride of his uh, short leg seemed filled with confidence. Well, glad that he's happy now. And as for us, we're not. We're not, now. We are gonna go to the inn. Recruits for trading. Lafta and her priests were actually thieves. Yeah, I knew it. After discovering their plot, the situation came to blows. Okrun was relieved to recover his heirloom. Alright, and now we go to Grave's Rest. Uh, here, the Grave's Rest. Here, we go to this tavern. And and, and I think and I think we, we are going to have a rest first. And then we go to the Orlam. Alright, now let's rent a room for starters. So we, so everyone can rest. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? I would like a room. Top quality bear pelts on every bed. You won't be disappointed. And yeah, we are gonna sleep here. Kind of shame that they didn't make a new resting animation for White March specifically, like. Uh, li like sleep, like sleeping in a uh, in a room with uh, with bear pelts and stuff so and, and such, or or if you were in the wilderness in a in a we have a, we would have a campfire in a in a, in a snow or something or something like that. That's a kind of shame. But anyway, a leaf. Any progress with Devala? Hmm. 
She said you agreed to your in yeah, uh, indenture, and and that you killed a boy in your escape. Now ah, you know what? Screw that. He he lied. He lied to us once. He, he's more li he's most likely to go gonna do it again. I took care of her. You can go. Oh, thank the gods! Every last one of them. I never thought I'd see this day. And thank you most of all. Here, take this, and tell Hafric that he can keep the rest of the week's fee. I'm off. All right. So what did we get? You gained an item, Ring of unshack Unshackling added to inventory. You have gained an item, Durkran Copper Bracelet added to inventory. Interesting. So... Oh yeah, it, oh yeah, it's just this ring. Uh, what, what, what? Oh, here we go. Durkran Copper Bracelet. Though Durkran's batter is mostly known for its steel, the, the refineries also produced extremely high quali quality copper that was used in, co in coinage art. Coinage art and jewelry. This copper bracelet is typical of the jewelry that was produced in the community at its height. How is this word spelled again? Jewelry? Well, whatever the case. Can we... Uh, can we give it to someone? Not that it... Yeah, n no we can't. But then again, it doesn't have any stats or anything, so it wouldn't really benefit us in any way, even if we could. Alright, so I guess we are gonna go back to the wilderness again. But, hmm... Before that, though, since we are here... Got rid of that little fella, eh? Take this with my thanks. Didn't need his trouble around here. Ah, alright. Anyway, what brings you back? Well, let's see what re re refreshments you got. Nothing like a pint to take the chill off. Yeah, we could buy some uh, more food. Damage reduction plus two. We're gonna take that. Might as well take this as well. And one one cabin supply. Flame shield. Plus ten damage, damage reduction against freeze. This could actually be very useful, especially against those damn ice frost plies, whatever they were. And we deal ten to fifteen burn damage. I actually like that. Uh, that I, I actually like this a lot. Five, five and a half grand. Jesus Christ. Well, let's see how much money we can get from these. I don't think we're gonna need this ring at anymore, anymore really. It's not that good. This is useless as well. Anything else? I don't want to sell this just yet. I might give it to someone else. Ah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm still ho holding on to this, just in case. But, do we have here? Anything here? Yes, actually, yes, we do. Alright, we are getting some money back now. Nice. Now, that's pretty much it, I, th I think. That's a good trade. And now we got 3,100. Alright, now, let's go back... Let, let's go back to whatever whatever the place name was called again. Let's go back to Rusted Wood. Oh yeah, and we should also check, and we, and we also all should also check whether we can reassemble our party when we are leaving this place. Well, apparently not. God damn it! So does this mean that I have to go back to Kaid Nua to to reassemble my team? Is that what the game is trying to tell me? I would have to go all the way back back to here just to get Elod and Eder back if I wanted when I want to. Well, god damn it. Hmm. Well, let let's continue on with this uh, cr uh, party uh, still and see and see how far we can go. If it really becomes impossible impossible for us to continue to con to continue the game, or it just becomes too hard without Elot or Eder in our team, then uh, all right, let's go back to Guide Nua then at that point and get a new party. So, but for now, let's go to Russetwood. Back to Russetwood we go. Now, first is first things first. Uh, we 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 ought to go here here to meet the to meet Tafal or whatever the slave tracker's name was, and also what did we get from that innkeeper? I think I forgot to check. Uh, Man reputation. You have gained item ingredients. Opal added to your stash. <laughs> That's it. Just one opal. 
crafting ingredient basically, nothing too fancy. Alright. Defal. Defala. Close enough. And there's a leaf. You know, if adventuring doesn't work out, you've got a real future in the slave hunting business. Well, I think I I think I'm I think I'm fine, especially when I own my own stronghold. She nods to Aleph, whose hands are whose hands and ankles are chained. You sold me out. I knew it. I never One of the fellas men slaps him and and he falls silent. Maybe you shouldn't have lied to me back then. Zahua closes his eyes, his facial muscles tensing and relaxing and tensing again. As promised, here's your payment. A pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, thanks. Thousand copper, nice, and quite l quite a lot of experience. Now that's been dealt with. No one has got a level yet. Taxes collected, 103 copper lost to bandits, earned 11111 copper. Alright. Now, there, like I mentioned, there is this one particularly annoying and tough map of monsters here. I would, lo I would love to take down because they have, they have beaten me two, three times by now, and I would really, really like to get back at them. Oh, and this is just about the tax collection, then, isn't it? Yup. So I want, so I want to take them down in this episode, but before, before we go and try, let's, uh, let's save first. Okie dokie, I have, I have saved the game now. So. Let's go, let's go and, oh wait, not quite yet. Just say the word. Let's drink and eat. Before we go. To I'm get, ready. To get every bit, every buff we can get. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Zawa is ready. What? And uh, eat this. Yeah? Alright, this should, this should sure. be good. Oh wait, what was this? Oh yeah, I think I think this is the ability she she got from her she's getting from her gear that she's wearing. But anyway. Yeah. Come here, bitches. I'm ready for you this time. Laku fight. So that so that's what those that's what that's that that was the name of these strange four-armed uh, lizard creatures. All right, and buff everyone and you yeah, let's use this. I want, I, I want to, I want to deep up these guys as hard as I can. I think we should give armor to N M Maneha at this point. And Winky, you are there. I want you to go and flank this Laku Laku fight. In the way. And then we use this. Oh wait, was this the right spell? Invokes the benediction of the priest's god, imbued in allies in the area of effect with accuracy and might bonuses while enemies receive penalties for the same. Yeah, this is fucking good. I can, I can barely see the area of effect here, that's why I'm not sure where, where, to, where, to, where to cast it, but somewhere around here. What? And then you teleport... Oh wait. Yeah, use that. Oh wait, no, not not yet. Now. Oh crap, that, that there was a second one, I forgot. Attack this one then. Oh shit, shit, shit. Maybe you should uh, switch back to your sword and give her your defenses. Oh yeah, I have this as well, I forgot. Uh, dominate this one. Wink is about to die, god damn it. Let's use this. And of, and of course she fell down, just... If only I remember that there were two of these, uh, two, two of those, two of those a-holes here. Damn it, that was my bad. Although I can revive her. Yeah, oh, fuck it, let's do. It. Uh, go and revive her. Oh wait, we can't because she's in that black mist thingy, whatever that is. But that one is about to die. That's good. Maybe I should just go and focus on this one with Prolvia. 
Use this first though. Let's deep off these guys. Like how does it count? One down. Good. Mm. Maybe it's better that I stay here to heal these guys every once in a while. Use your AoE heal. We need to focus on one of them. So we can get at least one of them down and then there's and, and then dealing with two should be much two should be much easier. And then you dominate this one again. So let's try to focus on this one. One troll down, good. Then focus on this one. Yeah. And this. Wait, this one. Come on, die. There we go. And now, and now we focus on that stroll. That shouldn't be too hard. And now we can actually resurrect Winky. Just say the word. There we go. And now nuke this one down, please. Wait, I thought one of them fell. Well, it's down now. There we go, Winky killed that one. Hang on. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I think poison killed him. Yeah, it, it must have been poison or something. And you use this. The fight is ours! Fuck yes. Oh wait, no, not yet. Fuck yes! Now we killed them. This fight went very well this time. A lot better than the last two, three fights we had. Just say the word. But they don't drop anything nice. Absolutely nothing. Just a simple club, Lakufite, Liber, and Akade. Not a problem. Yeah, nothing amazing dropped. But hey, but hey, we we yeah. we, we got we got them. That's the main thing. Yeah, I'm so gonna save this game here at this point. All right, let's continue. Now, I don't want to rest just yet. I think we can take at least one, possibly two more fights with with all this with all this health. We haven't even, we didn't even use that many spells. Oh, Dargul. The hell is going on here? Vampire skirmisher. Vampire. Felicia. Gently with the fingers. They are the best part. I don't want. A slow smile creeps across your face as, uh, at your approach. The other men and women turn to look at you, their mouths filthy with blood and gobbets of flesh. Well, hello there, beautiful. What brings you to this part of Russet Wood? Why don't you tell me what bring what brings you here? I'm looking for an ogre matron. Yeah, that's true. I'm just I'm just exploring. Why do you care? Killing and looting mostly. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite true as well. But I'm actually looking for the ogre matron. matron. Oh, how nice. She's staring at you intently now and doesn't appear to have heard your answer. Dwarf. A dwarf? You might be a little chewy, but a, but a few hours of boiling should take care of that. Maybe past you with a dark stout first. She licks her lips. What? Are you planning to eat me? I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Roll your eyes, stoic. Or should we just attack? Yeah, might as well do that. They seem to want to attack. He, that 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 uh, vessel wants to eat us apparently. All right, buff everyone and Winky, back up a little, little bit. Maybe go somewhere behind here for now. And uh, yeah, let let them come to us. What? There we go. And use this shout. And Winky, I think you should. Yeah, we, we we're gonna we we're, we're gonna move her somewhere around here and kill this vampire peculiar, whatever that is. Must be a wizard or something. Uh, 
give defenses to um, Zahua. You mark this one. Actually, no. These star tools should be rather easy. They're basically zombies, from what I understood. Uh, focus on this one. Let's kill that as fast as we can. Yeah. Oh wait, did you already... Did you... Oh wait, we can't control the runs. He's dominated. Fuck. Uh, anyway... <laughs> you are slowed for some reason. Oh, he's attacking Winky. That's not good. Teleport. Fine, let's... Shit, 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 shit. Heal Zahua. Oh wait, he's he's still he's still on the enemy's side, isn't he? Where is he? Yeah, he's there. Shit. Well, we just we just we we just uh, must try not to. Uh, oh wait, is the runs the same? Well, oh, fuck. All right, now that one talent uh, that uh, now that one talent that would have uh, broken any dominance and charm effect from our allies when we hit them once would, would be very very freaking useful. Shit. Well, let's give defenses to Mahena. We might hurt Zahua a little bit by doing this. But let's do that anyway. You should be able to, ta able to take that Dark Hill down very fast. Where is the marked one? Uh, it's this one, yeah. I was enjoying himself. Shit, shit. Uh, oh yeah, we can... Oh, you know, we can't dominate because we didn't rest. Fuck. Well, let's summon these uh, worms. Maybe that will help us. This is getting nowhere! Heal me, please. Oh, Durant is back, but Zahua is down. Of course he is. Uh, AoE heal. God damn it. Wink is not uh Wink is not doing well well at all against this one dark hole here. What spell should we use here? What did this do? Grants a single ally temporary immunity, yeah that's not doesn't really help us now. Major entrance. Uh-huh. Place a magical seal on the floor that bursts into flame when enemy come into contact with it. Nah. Hmm. Ghosted enemies in area of effect to take penalty to all defenses and acute burn damage over time. Yeah, let's use that. Ah, take me. Shit, shit. Get away. Fuck. Of course I do it that do it too late. Heal me, please. Uh, let's use this pillar spell. This should, this shouldn't harm our, this shouldn't harm our allies. So let's use that. We are going down fast. Jesus Christ. Heal me, please. Uh, do you have? No, you don't. Major, and uh, what? What? What is this? Critical endurance. Yeah, do that quickly. <laughs> Yeah, that's more. That's better. And then use this one. The fight is over. Tell me. Well, I'm gonna rest after this anyway. So do this. And then. Actually, we may want to heal a second. Wait, we didn't use this. I thought we used used it used it at the very beginning of the encounter. Use second wind here. And yet, let's use this. Why the hell not? We're gonna rush anyway. And 
Let's use this again. Just three of them left. Knock it down, please. Or something. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go all in and use all of my spells that I can, that I can use. Uh, hmm. Can we hold her? Yes, we can. Good. Uh, let's see. In parts to allies the fervor of righteousness in battle. When any ally in the area of effect delivers a killing blow, he or she regains endurance. Why did I use this earlier? God damn it. Well, use it now. <laughs> what is he doing? She's switching weapons constantly. Now we finish her. Then and then it's this guy's turn. Jesus Christ, she has a lot of damage damage reduction. Or our characters are not doing that much damage. That's a that's another possibility. Might as well uh, revive R Winky. Why not? We're gonna rest anyway. Show them, show them how it's done. Why are you slow? Oh, I, I didn't want I didn't want to check that. Show them how it's done. Uh, attack, him, please. Show them how it's done. Jesus Christ! Everyone, attack him, please. What's the hurry? Let's relax a lot. Just kill him, please. And you too, uh, Durant. No, I didn't want you to check that. Let's burn this away. Oh, for the love of Christ. Well, he's gonna go down soon. Or maybe I should cast a spell on him or something. Come on, go down. Oh, and now Mahena attacks. There Just we go. Just say the word. All right. I told you we could take at least one more fight after that. After the last one. I'm on it. Did they drop anything nice? Exceptional morning star. Nah. Not really into morning stars myself personally. But now let's see what what this is. Many of these frozen corpses are missing fingers or have had chunks of flesh cut out from their uh, tights and torsos. Hmm, cannibals. Alright, so now let's have a rest here. And for Winky, yeah, you don't have many options here. Hmm, I wonder, should I give heal multiplier to someone instead? Like myself, perhaps? Hmm, Mahena has been doing fine so far. Maybe the damage reduction is good for Zahua. I think I'm gonna give her heal multiplier and see and and see how that goes. But now let's have a let's have a rest here. Oh, one of these vision things again. Even though we didn't get a vision, an attack was imminent, but your patrols stave off the enemy. Oh, so someone, someone dared to attack, attack our stronghold? Oh, sons of bitches. Well, they were dumb. We have very good defenses there anyway. Actually, can we also build anything else? Or have we built everything? No, we haven't built this, so let's do that. Did, didn't even notice, that, notice when we uh, completed our last construction. But now, after this one, we have, comp we have built everything. Yeah. But now let's just say the word. Let's continue with our uh, 
with our expo exploration. Although, hmm. Maybe we are getting now closer to the Ochre camp. Oh yeah, it sure looks like it. Ochre cannoner. Well, oh shit. I, I, I was about to leave before we start an encounter here, but looks like that's too late now. You get down. Uh, blind him. And you buff everyone. Jesus Christ, Winky, run. That's not of course, of course she gets. Just say the word. Uh, gets knocked down. Revive. The fight is ours. Attack. Attack. To our enemies. Death. Holy crap! There's more of them. Of course there is. Uh, AOE heal. Just oh, say thank the God. word. They, they didn't notice anything yet. We're gonna take all hey the there. all the crap. Yep. Yeah. So like I was saying, before we start any fights here, let's uh, explore the this the rest of the area some more. Oh, I see berries. Rookun berries. How am I supposed to spell that? And some river reed. I really should make more potions and potions and stuff. Well, I was actually about to at one point, but then I thought that, yeah, I think I'm gonna make them later when I know what I want. Anything else here? At the edge of the map? Besides crafting materials? Does it look like it? No. Oh, there's something here. Oh, boots of speed. Plus three movement speeds. Alright, that sounds very really good. And potion of flame shield. Stalwart pony. So is this basically their money? Stalwart's residents use as use assorted pieces of carved fish bone as a supplemental currency. Most bonies are carved from a large flat spot on the skull of a uh, speckled back fish. The carvings are in, in the carves are intricate enough that outsiders find them valuable for their uh, art artistry. All right, so it's their their currency basically. So what boots do you have? You had some. Oh, you had some some boots, didn't you? Yes, you had. You had sneak attack, sneak attack bonus. Yeah, that's actually good for you. So never mind. You don't have boots, and you don't have boots either. Maybe we should give the boots to you then. So there you go. And why are you? Why do you have? Oh, yes. When he was dominated, then he switched weapons. So let's go back to fists. Just say the word. Because that's much cooler and more and more monk-like to use your fists instead of weapons. Ah, there's an altar. This simple shrine is covered in a thick layer of snow, fallen leaves and feathers. A pair of curving bones fl flanks the altar. Examine the shrine more closely. The shrine does not appear to be frequented uh, uh, very often, though traces of old candle wax li uh, line the edges of the stone. Under a dusting of frost, you note a rectangular section of the altar surface that seems to be cleaner than the rest, as if something once rested there. Touch the altar. You feel a tingle run up your arm as you set your fingers onto the altar. In the instant after, the wind seems to die down, the sounds of the wilderness growing muted to your hearing. Then you hear a sudden low growl, quickly, quick, quickly joined by more. A vision strikes you like a sudden memory, though it is unbound by time or space. Within a sea of darkness you see a great beast, formless, uh, formless save for its gleaming fangs. It growls and snaps with increasing desperation and savagery, and for a moment you feel its rage as your own, a possessive fury that tears at you. Something has been taken, your territory threatened, and the price for it will be blood. The vision fades just as swiftly as it came, the altar stands silent and still, and the air fills again with the occasional thrill of birdsong. Alright, that was interesting. I wonder if you have to... Shrine of Galavain. I wonder if you, ha if you have to face a beast called Galavain anytime soon. 
Now, yeah? before we turn to forward, just in case, Winky, go and scout for us a little bit. Any more ogres nearby? Oh, there's some dead bodies here. Oh, there's a bear. Radio. Alright, so that's not Galavain. And this is the place where the ogres are, if I'm not, not mistaken. Oh, can I look? Oh shit. Can he notice me? Yes, he can. And this leads to where? Well, at least there's quite a, quite a bit of uh, crafting materials here, might as well pick them up. But does this lead to... Oh wait, that's the cave to... That's the matron's cave, if I'm not mistaken. Campy supplies, fuck yes. And lock, lock, pick, lock picks and speckled back jerky. Nice, very nice. Yeah, that's the flames that whisper caverns. Alright, so that could very well be the place where the Oko matron is uh, residing. But what's this place? Well, let's check that real quick. And then I think we take down that bear. Now, what's here? There's some... Oh. Can I have a better look, please? Not even gonna bother to try to spell that. And some... What, what else was there? A white wolves. Though those should not be too hard to deal with, so... So let's take them down. Uh, actually, Winky, you can stay there. Yeah. And we go there. But just in case, I'm gonna save. Yeah, the last episode taught me to save more frequently now in now in the White March because this place is not screwing around. These some fights are actually tough. So, oh, we have to go. On, uh, have to make a detour. All right. I had to go around that thing. Those trees. Anyway, let's attack. This should not be too hard. I mean, they're just wolves. Now focus on this one. And you... Uh, go here, please. And use this. And, uh... I think we should... Actually, let's wait a little, a little while. Uh, we need... Oh crap. Uh, a winky go there and attack him. Uh, wait, why did that why that didn't why it didn't work? Oh shit. Zaho is about to fall. Quickly, heal him. What? Oh wait, he's down already. Shit. Well revive him. Give uh, bonuses defense bonuses to Mahena. We can take them! Jesus Christ. Uh, use this. Somewhere around here. Uh, Winky, you go attack this one. Defenses to Zahua. Uh, heal Zahua. Or do, do we have any strong other AOE heals besides this one? What's this? Revive the Fallen. Grants Fallen friends a second chance. Reviving unconscious allies in the area of effect, restoring small amount of the entrance. I forgot I even had that spell. Hmm. Maybe, maybe use this for now. You use self-regeneration. Where are you, Zahwa, anyway? Are you are there? Oh, there's an Earth Blight too. Well, no wonder we are taking lots of damage here. Hate those Blight thingies. Uh, just kick that one. Uh, is the Earth Blight dead or... Oh wait, it's there. Alright. Um, you are there. I guess it's better to switch to your pistol and... Actually, can you dominate it? That would be nice. Jesus Christ, look at that damage it, it, it's dealing, it's ridiculous. All of that AoE damage. Hmm. 
Don't we have any other heal, uh, AOE heals? What did this do? Magical Sheet explodes in a burst of electrical energy when an enemy comes into contact with it, inflicting damage. Alright. Well, the only thing that we have is really this one. It doesn't heal much, but it's something. Mm. I guess I'm just gonna spam that for at least three more times. Use second wind. How oh, are they all dead? Yeah, they, we made Just it. Just say the word. Good. I hate those blights. They do deal so much AOE damage that it's not funny. Just say the word. Anything else in here? Oh, there's a, a another cave here. What cave is that? Wolf cave. Hmm. I wonder if we should if we should go if we should go there first. Yeah, I think I will. Although, hmm. I think we can take at least one more fight before we rest. So, yeah. Let's not rest quite yet. And, again, save him. Alright, let's see what dangers lie, lie within this cave. Most likely wolves, wolves because it's, well, it's a wolf cave, but maybe there's something else here too. Well, look, look at that. Is that one of the feral druids? Druid wolf, yeah, I thought so. Standing, o standing tall amongst the wolves, inhabited in the cavern, this creature turns to face you as you adventure forward. Scores of wounds and scars riddle its hide, and one dull eye stares out bl and blindly from its skull. It growls and growls a threat as you approach, one echoed by its fellows. Lore 4. You know this half-wolf for the spirit-shifted form of a druid, though you see no gleam of kit intelligence within its grace. Maybe if we had Hiravias here, he could tell us more, because he's also a druid. At the creature's feet lie two villagers, one heavily wounded, the other holds an arm across his stomach, and he looks up at you with a pleading in his with pleading in his eyes. Help! Please help us! As the beast turns his head back toward the hunter, you sense a, a strange aura emanating from it. It is as if its height were holding in a tempest of soul essence, fierce and all-consuming as flame. Reach for the beast's soul, if it allows us, that is. Rush forward to help the hunters, I don't really care. I'll end you, beast. Well, let's reach out for the beast's soul. It takes little effort before the beast's soul threatens to overwhelm you with its intensity. Wrath and hunger buff buffet you on all sides, until you reach, reach through the storm to find a smaller, dimmer pulse of light, and are, and are swept uh, headlong into a memory. The chill bites into your cheeks, and your lung burns a little from the, from the run. You look down at the little wooden carving in your hand, and, your, and run your thumb along the edge of the carved bear's spine. The totem has already brought you luck. You have found two rabbits in, rabbits in as many snares, and that's a rare enough feat these days. You are certain now that this was a gift from Galavine, that you were meant to find it on that lonely shrine and take it. Soldier. Your father's voice sna sna snaps you out of your reflections, and you rush toward to rejoin him beside the campfire. Your, you brandish the hairs and catch a glimpse of a rare smile under his grey beard. But the smile, but the smile disappears almost Im immediately as a shadow falls over you both. You feel the rush of wind a moment before the lock comes crashing down, and roll out and, ro and roll out of the way just in time. You hear your father cry out in pain, somewhere nearby. Both the ha hairs and the totem slip from your grasp. You can feel power surging within you. Your heart thunders in your chest, but instinct pulls your senses into order, and you feel the familiar stretch of limbs, the sudden dizzying shift in height. But something is wrong. Your senses are fading, rather than growing stronger. There's a howling in your head, like a screaming chorus. And everything in, in your in your shrieks for your for you to bite, to tear, to eat. The memory slips from you, and when you when you come back to yourself, the beast is shaking, its head its head as if to clear an inch, uh, clawing at, at its ears. So wait, this guy is the this is the guy who took that whatever told him it was from the shrine, if I understood correctly, and now he turned into a wolf. Soldron. The creature snaps and snarls, evidently uh, uncompre uncomprehending. 
it edges forward the nearest hunter, even, even as it watches you play barefoot with its single eye. I don't really care for these hunters, really. Back away. As you draw back, one of the winter wolves suddenly leaps in, leaps, leaps in front of the hunters, taking up a defensive posture. By the time it favors its leg, you recognize the wolf you helped in the wilds. Oh, so it's that wolf we helped in the wilds. All right, maybe that one can help us. Just say the uh, word. Is it, is it safe to come come closer? <laughs> I guess not. Oh, that's that winter wolf. All right, so that one is helping us. Well, all right, let's see how this goes. They are such simple wolves, so they and say should not be that terrible. And I and I and I don't see any plights anywhere, so that shouldn't be a big problem now. I'm gonna rest after this, so I'm gonna go pretty much in all in when it comes to abilities. <laughs> no, do that. Holy crap! You take a lot of damage, uh, defenses, and heal. And Winky, you are there. Uh, attack this one. And Zahua, you attack this one as well. Jesus Christ. Uh, heal her quickly. Now you use the second win. Holy crap, they are focusing on Mahena very, 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 very much here. They want her dead. Yeah, I think Eder was a, was a much, better, much better tank. He didn't take that much damage. But then again, uh, the base game's content was not uh, was red, uh, very much easier, so that could also be it. Oh, one of the hunters is helping. Alright, nice. So they're not completely useless here. Uh, focus on... Uh, make this one as your enemy. Uh, Zahua, Zahua, you are there. Alright, you're punching the little shit out of that one. And Winky, I think you should go and take this one down. Alright. Now only this one left. <laughs> where, did, where did she go? She just went back there and decided to lay down. Alright. Alright. Oh, you had this. I forgot to use this as uh, uh, health regeneration. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that one hits hard. Let's see if we can save her. Not that we really need to, because we are gonna win anyway, but still. Ah, uh, yeah, use that. Ah, no need. Breathe Yeah. Oh, that one died. Shame. And all we got was hides. Well, I, would, I, I didn't really expect to, these guys to have yeah. any, anything useful on them. What about you? <laughs> Just a few uh, coins. What about this one? Bless you, stranger. We'll make our way back to the village. Even though one of your pals are dead. Ah, this wolf here is very chill. He doesn't care that we basically killed his entire pack here. Still, it's kind of a shame that we don't have we didn't have Sagan in our last episode because we could have possibly made him as our friend and a com companion even. But yeah, can't have them all, I guess. All right, let's actually no. Before we leave, let's uh, have a rest here in the cave because why not? Aha. Uh -huh. Half asleep, a tide of def uh, defeating whispers as assails you, chipping away at your senses, at your mind's understanding of itself. Their roar is louder with each passing night, their attacks more brazen, less confined to your subconscious. A familiar, a familiar vo voice fights its way through the thing calling out to you. You howl in the night, Watcher, like a beaten dog with its tail tucked. If it is sympathy you call for, you do yourself no favors in the eyes of the gods. Do I and do I look like a do I look like the kind of person who would ask for sympathy to runs? I made no, I made an I made noise. You shook. You spoke words of dead languages. You yowled in fear. It has become your routine of late. I'd have stepped in sooner, but for all your writhing, 
I thought I might be interrupting the wrong kind of dream. Hmm, my mind may be going. It was spectacular until you came along. I don't care to discuss it with you. Hmm. It was spectacular until you came along. Hide it all you want, Watcher. But it's all too clear you are suffering for playing with the gods' fire, as all Watchers deserve. But you have not been broken yet, Watcher. Do not give your enemies the satisfaction before it is due. Alright, I keep that in mind. Alright, that was... Well, random. Just say the word. But now, let's leave this cave. Now then, uh, I was thinking of ending this episode, but I think we can take at least one more fight, and, 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 that, and that fight will be with the bear here. I'm just killing wildlife here, for the loot, even though all they, all they drop is uh, hides and fears and stuff, but maybe these guys will have something. But before we try to loot these guys, oh, actually let's see if we can loot them. No, we can't, I thought so. Well, let's kill this bear. It's a very big bear too. But it's one bear, how, how hard can it possibly be to kill this one? And those were, and now in before those were, were my last words, famous last words. <laughs> It hits like a truck, though. Uh, defenses to Zahua. Yeah, he, he hits like a truck, all right. Uh, Winky, try to blind him. Did, did this? Did this? Did this blind? Right? This did blind. A dirty attack that makes the opponent unable to see. Inflicts extra damage and blinds the target. Yeah, I thought so. Can you pro him? And use this. And heal him. Your second win if you can. There we go. And Winky got a level. Nice. Just say the word. The bear drops nothing else but some hide and claws. Now what what, what do these guys have on them? Hmm. Fine hatchet. Journal page. Camping supplies. Fuck yes. Coil of resourcefulness. Plus 15 trap accuracy, minus 1 weapon charge recovery. Uh, and 1 dexterity. This might actually be good for Winky. This simple belt isn't much to look at, but it's been a favorite of savvy adventurers for years. It's snug but comfortable fit and its myriad pouches, sheets and loops allow the wearer quick access to weapons and tools. Armorers and leatherworkers have tried over the years to replicate the coil of resor resourceful resourcefulness or even to improve it, but the ideal design remains a matter of uh, controversy. O all anyone can agree on is that none of the recently produced belts are as good as the original. Every few years, however, an adventurer will show up at an inn, campfire or camping ca or hunting lodge claiming to wear the original coil of resourcefulness. Speculation will run rampant once again as supporters and detractors compare the most recent specimens of the various and con contradictory accounts from old adventurous journals. Alright, let's pick up that. Alright, lots of... We, got also, we, got, to me. we also got lots of lock, lock picks here, that's nice. Now, let's like take a look at that journal page. Where is it? Channel page. Day 4. Took down another stack today. Still not enough hides to make this trip worth it. Day 6. Blizzard's coming. Staying up until it passes. Day 9. Close call with a pair of ogres. Lucky they didn't see us. Day 11. Tracking a large bear that Nurin spotted from the ridge. Might even be Greyjaw. My grandfather told stories about him. Wouldn't be. Uh, wouldn't that be something if we were the ones to finally kill him? Day 12. It's definitely Greyjaw. We are dangerously close to the Oko cavern, but we are but we have got Greyjaw trapped and his hide is too valuable to pass up. The three of us should be able to handle them handle one bear. Well apparently you were you were not, not enough. You were not you were not you were not, not as bad as we were. Alright. And now 
Where's the belt? Here, yeah. Do you have any belts on you? No, you don't. So I think we're gonna give this to her. Although, wait. Well, it just gives one dexterity and 15 trap accuracy. So it's not that good. I Maybe maybe it, it, it would be better on Sagani, but she's not in, in our party right now, so whatever. And now... Uh, and then I'm gonna end this episode here, and in the next one we are gonna go to this mm, ogre... Uh, this possible ogre mm, cave here. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure, sure, that, sure that that's the uh, cave where the matron is, because why else there would be ogres guarding it. But yeah. Uh, but before that, let's level up, uh, level up uh, Winky and give her the stats. So... Survival would not be a terrible idea. Ath athletics would also be, of course, good, because the tougher she is, the better. Stealth could also be nice. Let's just put two one to scouting and one more to survival. Alright, and now we can pick another ability. Hmm. Withering Strike. The rogue aims for a vital area, inflicting extra damage and weakening the target once per encounter. Weakened for 11.5 seconds and weakened characters have their might and constitution reduced by 2. Movement speed is, re is reduced by 1. Fortitude and will are reduced by 20. Use full attack. 40 to 20 peers plus 40 to 20 peers. That sounds very good. Fearsome strike. The rogue attempts to greatly hinder an opponent by targeting areas crucially important to their ability to fight, inflicting extra damage as well as weakening and hoppling the target. That sounds even this sounds even better. And it is, but it's only once once per rest, which I'm not a huge fan of. Persistent distraction. Whenever the rogue is contributing to the flanked affliction on a target, the victim is also distracted. The distracted affliction lowers all of the target's defenses by six and lowers the number of engagement targets by one. For most characters, this means they cannot hold any enemies in engagement while distracted. Deep Wounds Expertise in the art of pain leads all slash, pierce and crush damage caused by the rogue to, to, to also do raw damage over time. And raw damage was the one that ignores all, all, uh, all armor and damage reduction. 3.6 raw damage per 3 seconds for 11 and 5 seconds. Hmm. I want Winky to be the one who nukes her enemies down as fast as, the, uh, as fast as she can, so that's why I'm not really a big fan of damage per uh, damage dam damage over time effects for her causing and positioning in one quick move the rogue instantly switches positions with one nearby target canceling engagement if in if in effect automatic when targeting an ally otherwise must hit versus an enemy's reflex two twice per encounter so so this ability is, is is basically for repositioning and i like that idea a lot finishing blow the rogue looks to finish off an injured opponent with a precise deadly strike that increases in damage I increases in damage the less endurance the target has. This would also be very nice to uh, to finish off those targets with uh, targets very fast. And we already have the teleportation ability to reposition ourselves. So I think I'm going to go with the finish uh, blow here. I make her even I make her even much um, even deadlier against enemies with little health left. Yeah. Alright, so now, I'm gonna end this episode here, like I said, and in the next episode we are gonna enter, enter this cavern and possibly encounter the Oko matron, uh, matron and take her head. And after that, well, we have already explored, explored, explored this entire area, basically, so I guess we are gonna leave this place and continue forward to, well, someone else. Or maybe we go back to Stal Stalwart, Stalwart to, uh, to, uh, to deliver the Oko matron's head. We'll see. But, now then, thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Pillars of Eternity, The White March.